Hey everyone, it's Let's Play Mystery Time with me, Dan, and you know that. And we're playing it out with my favorite non humongous entertainment, Charlie Games. The Smelly Mystery, starring Marissa Mills, Little Monster, Private Eye, aka Sand Monster. Direct from Little Monster at School, in a James Bond parody, as you can see here. And there's the title. This game's gonna have a ton of pop culture references and song references. I don't even know what some of them are. Let's see if you can guess some of them. Alright. I know that one of you is the evil smell. That's to a monster's so voice! Fess up. Why does he sound like he's puberty? Me, Chief Inspector. And, and, but we seem to have and the Krapapas talks ah, too. That's thank weird. Goodness you're here. I'm Little Monster, Private Eye. And this With a is weird deep Detective voice for you kid. Charmed, I'm sure. And Kirby's British, too! We're trying to solve a very smelly mystery. And Let's... we need your help. Indeed. Another mystery is why our voice is so if low you want for to help supposedly us solve the smelly mystery, click maybe, the play button. Maybe it was one of those weird puberty things. Okay. If you want the chief inspector to read you the story, click the read button. Smelly. If you want to look at a page, click the page button. If you'd like to try your skills at the mugshot game, click the mugs button. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to try and solve the smelly mystery again, click on the new button. Okay, first we'll try to mug. It's your thing. move, detective. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hey, welcome to mugs. If you want some help, That's the zipper up click on suit. me. If you're ready to His begin, voice is slow. click on the start button. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm more used to the high-pitched sounding zipper up a zoo and how the troll's got his hat. Two minutes. Level one. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the face. Take a good look. I am. Ready? Set. Go. Okay, zip. It was this. And I think the face... That was the note. The mouth. The mouth. I think it was this one. Not yet. Keep trying. You still have some time. Oh. Oh, wait. Wrong notes. There. Yes. You got it. Thanks, Zip. Okay, Zip. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I forgot. There's more than one Zipper in Pazoo, but... To tell you the truth, I like the lower voice. I mean, I like the higher voice Zipper Rumpazoo better. When he was in How to Troll Us Get His Hat, he was much cute. Now I'll just build a face for the heck of it. Let's see. Typical Mercer Mayor. Hmm. Okay, standard. Hmm. That looks funny too. Those ears? Those ears? Those are... Hmm. Let's see, I forget. I'll go for these. They look like the ears to stamp collecting trolls, cat. Now this is a lot of those old Hanna-Barbera sound effects here. Like that. There's gonna be a lot of those old HB sounds in this game. What? No Pindle Fez hat? Let's see. That looks good. Okay. Okay, we'll click new so we can start. It all started the night of the sleepover at Yali's house. It was the usual gang. Yeah, we gotta go through introducing Little them. Laugh. We already know him. Icky. He used to work with a woman. Icky, I don't really remember. Alright, Radical. Do you know anyone who says Radical anymore? He's too trapped in the 90s. Erg. Erg, some hey, filthy Erg, bully. Hey, quit it. <laughs> I always knew you were a drip. Jerry Bombanat. He's the gee. Hey, Yally. Did you know he, that absolute zero is the zero. temperature at which the molecules of a substance would cease moving? He's right. Hmm. Well, taught me. That's nice, Jerry. At least Yally's voice is okay. Yally, of course. Even if he eats a lot of sweets. And myself. Sam Monster, Ikilo. We can have some fun here. Like, 
It's Kiwi okay, Herman! Girls. Having your friends stay over really is a lot of fun! <laughs> I love sleepovers! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, there's gonna be tons And here's a Frankenstein reference, too! Cut that out! You'll scare the children! Sorry, Mom. Okay... <laughs> now that's what I call an alarm clock! Okay... What's this do? A parody of Rick James Super Freak! One of the first of many song references in the game. Okay. Here's another. Trellisks! A Batman parody. Gonna, <laughs> the bat tooth scene. There's gonna be a lot of 60s Batman references in this. Now here's a reference I like. A parody of It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Trick or treat. With low voices. <laughs> wow, I got cinnamon bon goo goos. Hey, all I got was a rock. Huh. <laughs> Not that, but the Charlie Brown character should have had more holes in his ghost costume. Let's see. The big tuna logo. Okay, let's see what else. <laughs> hey, Erg. Your feet stink. Yeah. They smell good to me. <laughs> well, he's not very bright anyway. Okay, so in this little laugh is a prankster. Watch. Here! You want a piece of gum? Huh? Hmm? Oh, gum! Give me some! Ouch! <laughs> Someone once tried to pull that prank on me in middle school, but I was too smart to fall for that. I knew how that old trick worked. Icky. Radical! Icky like doesn't care. Icky like doesn't care. I don't get it what they were saying. It's too hard to understand because of the low sound quality. Would you like to have a leak of my cinnamon barm Google? Ooh, Yali's uh, German. Thanks, but like, no thanks, dude. He's a surfer. It's like got your germs all over it. Oh, no, not cool. He was American. He seems better with German accent. Ah, huh. here's a weird gizmo Jerry Bombinette has, letting him transform. A dog of some sort. Little owl. Then he becomes a dinosaur. They all have the same spectacles, no matter his form. And look, a little critter. Did he switch bodies? Now he's invisible. Now he's back to normal. Fool around, little monster. Gang, usual yallies. Okay, what else can I do here? Eh, let's go to the next page, sort of. You're going down tonight, dude. Hot shot, sofa boy. Get him, Mickey! Knock his brains out! Hey, cut it out! I'm trying to read my book. Lip sync is bad! Get the, the get the nerd! I said quit it, fromage for brains. Would you call me? Oh, there's the hand barbero door set. Okay, boys, it's time to go to sleep. A guy out with good night, night, yellow 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 good night, mom. Good night, boys. Sleep tight. Don't let the zipper up bite. Another zipper up reference. 
I know uh, Professor Warbog had a Kerplapis too, and that he also. What the? Ooh, a mysterious stranger in a trench coat. Who could he be? That voice could belong to anyone, or it could it could be using one of those weird voice changer gadgets, like Disney World and Disneyland are using them. That's the smell switcher, folks. <laughs> Another thing to note, whenever you play this game, it, it's usually always a different suspect. Which you'll see in a little later on. Wait for this bird to fly by. The next day, I didn't stay for breakfast at Yali. You can tell this is I had not, to get home this isn't to the really, office. this is quite different from the living books. Come on, you wouldn't really stay in a trench coat when you're in the office. You'd get too hot in that thing. <laughs> but the hat would still be a nice touch. Hmm. Suddenly, the phone rang. Little Monster Private Eye It's the only time to plop his calls first to the name Little Monster. Uh, All the he calls him Chief Inspector. Like this. For you. Chief Inspector. Complete with the British... It was Mrs. Yalapapas, and she was very upset. Okay... Ah, something terrible has happened to my lunch! The orange juice smells like peanut butter, and the peanut butter smells like orange juice! Hmm. Ah, please come right away! Don't worry, Mrs. Y. We'll be there in two shakes of a toad's tail. Huh. Detective Kerplopis. To the private eye mobile. Well, here the comes double. the Batman reference. Yes, Listen. So he sped to Yalapapas Manor. <laughs> Watch out, Chief Inspector. There's a stop sign up ahead. Oh, there's a skinny no sound problem. from the Flintstones. Let's see. The mother. Goodbye, little monster. I hope you remember to wear a clean pair of underwear. It's just like, like Dahlia Ketchum from Pokemon. Of all this game like, came out like a year before the American dub of Pokemon did. Here comes a Grease parody. Whoa! Wrong button. Sorry, old chum. I was looking for the windshield wipers. Well, I must say. That was quite a rush, Chief Inspector. This must do it. Alright, here he comes. Oh no, Detective Kerplapis. Now what? Don't worry, Chief Inspector. I'll just dial 1-800-GREASE. <laughs> uh, and on. hello, Grease Monkey. Comes a parody of the Grease Lightning song. Go, Grease Monkey! Go, Grease Monkey! Go, Grease Monkey! Go. <laughs> My brother was in the... Uh, and a play of Grease. A couple minutes left. Yes. Because <laughs> yeah, my brother was in a Grease play last month as the lead character. Here comes a parody of Eggman Hannum, the publisher's clearinghouse. Hello, sir. I am Ed McMonster, and I have a publisher's haunted house sweepstakes huh. check for ten billion dollars. Just for you. You hear that, Mabel? They're We're hilarious. rich. Ah, Marty Flatbush, and he's a, a billionaire. <laughs> Marty Flatbush. Oh, I am incorrect, sir. I am looking for a Monty Feldspar. Good day. Get him, Butchie. <laughs> oh, Kill. I love a good mystery. So mysterious. Yep. Hey, a yellow pepper smell. You don't use a splash. Impression, impression, impression. Sidewalk. Ah, reference to Muttley or Hanna Barbera. Let's lay some tread, Detective. Uh, don't forget to watch the speed limit, Chief Inspector. Oh, he will. Scene transition. 